I, I never will! I never will! Oh! Oh, he's like, I would never love you anyway, so go, yeah, do something else. Whoa! Whoa, I love it. He's like, I love it, but it's like, pff, get off. Get off me, Tsundraya. So, hello everyone, my name is Live Version of Fruit Basket episode 11, season 2. Um, so yeah, last week, right, we finally, I finally got back to track, right, finally was the four episode of last week. And, um, you just see now what's gonna happen now. We really have, I felt the biggest thing from last week, of course, was Daikito and uh, Honda finally met, obviously. But I think also that she's just kind of feeling, I want to say it, right, I think, I think a big thing is that she felt, um, I said resolve, resolve. I would say so. Because previously, I mean, I've been saying this thing with the casting right for a year. I was like, oh, the casting, life expectancy, they also to die early, yada yada, right? And home that's been like, yeah, life thing, oh yeah, the curse, right? But last week, it really felt like she was finally like, screw that guy, I'm gonna defeat the curse, I'm gonna kick care of the curse, right? I think that's the biggest takeaway for me there. She was like, no, no. It's not enough. <laughs> like I'm, you t I'm, I'm taking you out. But anyway, let's have watching it. So three, two, one, and go. No Honda is like I'm taking your harem. Back to yeah, it's back to course best voice actor. Honda, <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's just her voice. I'm like, oh, I recognize who this is. Honda, <laughs> Kyoko. Oh man, it's just queen, the queen. Yeah, she had like a very quick scene in the last trip ago when she was like, Oh, I want to go to the beach. <gasps> a kid still? Okay, let's stay home. <laughs> yeah, she, she had a quick scene where she was like, I want to go to the beach. Actually, no, not anymore. <laughs> and then she was like, Or oh, not. <laughs> not. I'm staying home. <laughs> I'm staying home. Whoa. Oh, he was. Yeah. <laughs> Be sure and best brother has ruined your house. Yeah, it's been. A, it's been and for some reason, Honda is like, I am his son! <laughs> I seen you ruin the house! How awesome! <laughs> yeah, why is he so. How are we getting here and why is it trash everywhere? Yeah, I was like. I was house sitting by putting trash everywhere. Okay. You forgot to lock the door, right? <laughs> you forgot to lock the door, right? Yes. Yes. Oh, uh, it's gonna be all like, oh, see you romance, my brother. Of course you did, of course you did. Yeah. I guess it's not open this episode. Maybe not, because they have the cuts. That's before, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Oh, here we go, yeah, the boy love brother. Unishan! <laughs> no, no, <laughs> I don't want that on Nishan. Man, this is an old anime, clearly. This is. They didn't remake the phone. Could it be your family? Or is it maybe the queen? Well, I mean, it could be a friend, I guess, though. So. Could be best girl, could be Ushan. Hmm, who's calling her? Well, it's a little bit like who would call her now? Oh no. Yeah, I will embrace Tora, huh? <laughs> How did this come to the... Oh, I love him, I love him, he's a great character, yeah. <laughs> I have to embrace the girl instead. Oh, it's the sensei. Is she sure? The master. But he looks weird now with short hair. I mean, he, he, he cut his hair, right, and that makes him... He lost his martial art power after even evening. You have to be a martial artist, you have to have long hair. It's half the martial art. It's like Samson's martial art thing. You have to have the long hair. Or else you're not really a martial artist. It's like... Unknown fact. Hmm. Of course his grandfather was the cat. I hope they, I guess the, um, I don't think Tor's gonna have a scar on her face, right? Tor's a pretty anime for that, but she has that wound on her, on her cheek there. 
Det var en flashback till sin. Jag skulle defeat Yuki. Um, Sock confined. And then he wants them to all be happy. Like his slave right. Uh, without any freedom. It's a classic. Yeah, it's a, it's a classic strategy, you know, right? No, no freedom. Hmm. Yeah, he's the master of them all. It's like, yes. Ah, see? As I said last episode, yeah. Honda's like, I will crush his harem. It's my harem now. Exactly. It's the same what I said last week. She has a resolve now to, you know, to fight the curse. To break the curse, right? Exactly as I said that. Yeah, it's like she's no. Honda no wants to ruin it for Akito, right? She's like, no, no, no. I'm tired of this shit. Yeah, I'm gonna ruin his life. Exactly, exactly. And now she's like, nope. Curse out, right? Curse out. Hmm. Well, yeah. So. Hmm. I wonder if he can explain. We haven't really been explained how they are cursed, right? Except. Hmm. And what I mean is that I'm thinking, like, of course, we, we know they're cursed because they turn into animals. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, turn into animals. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I'm thinking that's like, you know. Yes to the is um, God. If <laughs> it is a child, a good explanation, yeah. He's an annoying child that no one should respect. But they can't fight him because they are so dick mammoths, right? Hmm. So they're cursed to follow him, definitely. That's the thing. They're definitely cursed to follow him. Hmm. But how do you break it? How do you break it? Bond of blood. Men just kill him. Hmm. What do he knows, right? <laughs> and he's like, like me and mom! <laughs> Bond of blood! <laughs> Damn it, Juan! He's always like, it's like blood! It's like me and mommy! She's always like, you know, it's like me and mommy, right? It's like me and mommy! But yeah, see, so what I'm saying it's like I will defeat him, right? The evil empire. I will take over his. Uh... Yeah, her whole like, her whole thing is that she will defeat the evil empire, right? But um... that didn't really explain anything, though. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just saying he explained that yeah, for us it looks stupid because he's like an annoying kid, right? But for them, it's like life and death. They 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 have this like they have this desire to pleasure him, right? Yeah, so it makes sense, right? But he didn't really explain how the whole team. He's like, ah, it's blood or something. <laughs> so unfortunately, he didn't really explain any. I mean, proper ways it works, right? He's like, I don't know. It's like blood or something. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just thinking like that didn't actually explain anything. <laughs> it's just like. I mean, he explained generally that they are, have a strong desire to be approved of Akito, yeah. They have a very weird, like, desire for him. Um, I guess he, he explained that, I mean, sure. That's true. He explained that. Um. Oh, she's Queen of Sundra, yeah. I love it. Kia kun! I love it. I mean, it's like, Kia kun! <laughs> I love it. There we go. Angry boar, there we go. Sundreform, there we go. Sundreform! Aido, aye! 
<laughs> I need my eye. Yeah. Gendrous lesson. <laughs> I need my love. They show. Her name is even Kagura. <laughs> Gintama. Yeah. Oh, but no, he's a great voice actor. I won't, ever, I won't this never. <laughs> Thank you. It's like a great relationship. Ooh, here we go. But I guess she's also, she's probably a weird, right? I guess she's afraid of him being um, confined, right? I mean, I assume she's a weird of what could happen. Ooh, horse girl again. She's like, <laughs> what a coincidence. She's like, get away from me, woman. <laughs> she's not a very nice friend. Yeah, she's like, whatever. He's ignoring her. <laughs> she's not mean. Yeah. <laughs> F off, yeah. She's a mean woman. She's so mean to her. She's like, yeah, get away from me. <laughs> Talk to me. Yeah. Like, yeah. Th thanks for meeting me. <laughs> it's like, don't even talk to me, woman. It's like, uh, okay. <laughs> uh. It's always gonna be angry, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's always angry. Hi. She was really mean to me. <laughs> yeah, she's always mean. Oh yeah, he breaks us immediately. Middle of town! <laughs> this is <seems> great! <laughs> hi, hi, hi! I didn't go there at all! No, no, no! I was in middle of town or something! <laughs> oh, this is great! Oh, it's not, it's just so, this is happened to me, too, you know, at like that convenience store or something. God damn it! Yeah, cargo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, time to date some more one. I'm disgusted by you. Ooh. <laughs> He's like, oh, 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 yeah. A great face there. Some kind of happiness or freedom. I guess. Yeah. Ooh, a date! Kyakun! Oh, this is awesome. Kochi Kochi! It is awesome. This is like the ultimate girl, come on. Yeah, in time even. He's learned from Honda to. Demo! I can't touch the visa girl! Did that do good? It's like, no, we said it this time. For <laughs> money! It's like, I mean, not really what we said, but. <laughs> it's like, oh, I guess. I guess. I mean, I love it. It's the cure date. Yeah. Cure cool. Money! Oh, come on. It's the. Oh, perfect voice actor. I don't wonder why she likes him, though, but. <laughs> yeah, it's true. What does she even like him for? She's always just like, oh, cure cool, but. I mean. Yeah, depressed now. She's noticing how depressed he is. He's happened to him. Oh, that's right, best girl. I'm gonna cheer him up. Oh, this is nice now, though. Yeah, this is nice now, though. Yeah, it was also irritatable. Yeah. Okay, now if she's finally gonna see why she loves him. The cat, right? Kagura, <laughs> John! And it trips too. Oh, that's sorry, that's it because it's cool. She's like, Can I ever leave me, boy? Nakama! Let's be Nakamas! <laughs> yeah, come on, we're the same! Uh, nay, nay, nay! <laughs> it's like super annoying, too, yeah. Wait, why is it doing. It actually seems kind of sad now. He's, he's, like, why is he. You know, drawing eggs. Who is doing eggs? Who goes to like a beach or like uh, whatever or a park? Like I'm gonna do this eggs. It's like, oh, it's okay. can't when you watch TV. Mom sounds pretty angry though. Actually, yeah, like it scolds me. Yeah, should we be friends? Hontoli. 
And Fishy loves to use because she was like, he's my pet or something. <laughs> she picked him up on the <laughs> in the park. It's like I will carry you around, yeah. Man. It's a lot of like, she's like, the, you know, you, we were best, you know, childhood best friends. Exactly. We were be childhood best friends. Come on, let's be lovers forever. I guess you're gonna take his rosary and then it's gonna turn, right? <gasps> yeah. He's gonna take the rosary and he will transform. At least my mental state is gonna transform because he's. Ooh. And of course he runs away and is scared of his true form. Damn it, Kagura, you broke his heart! Yeah. Damn this girl, no wonder she has a lot of guilt here. That's why you hate me. I could never relate to being the cat. The worst thing, yeah, the, the cat, or she can never relate to being the cat, of course not. I kind of hope the court can go over and be like, slap the teeth, it's like, stop playing with your, yeah. Man, just giving Stephanie some more from the Andrise here. Oh snap! She's like, I was happy because the cat is shit. Whoa! I guess a good that turned dark. That turned dark. Kagura is like, I, I, yeah, I pitied you because you were weaker. You were, you were disgusting part than me. Yeah, you were the disgusting cat. So I was happy that I was only the boar. It's like, <laughs> I, at least I'm no cat. Yeah, at least I'm no cat. Wow. That went. Yeah, he doi. That went. He doi. That really went dark there. Yeah, I touched the disgusting cat. Is she loving him purely from guilt then? I wonder if she loves him from guilt, right? She's like, I broke his heart with my kids. Of course, yeah, it's more like, you no, know, yeah. Like Honda. God, that, that woman. That, that perfect other woman accepts your ugliness. God damn it. Yeah, I failed. She says she loves him out of guilt. Just purely out of guilt. It's like, I, if I fall in love with you out of my guilt of being disgusted by your true form. Her love is quite wicked. Yeah, feels very forced now. He's in love with him. Ah, here we go. I saw that girl running after you, and I was like, "Got him!" That should have been me. <laughs> yeah. I saw the other girl, and she was way she was made nicer to you. God damn it! I could never do that. So I'm gonna try just yeah, a little more. The sun's going down here. Better. It's a good scene out here, Kagura. But does she love him though? You see if he's like... She admits that she doesn't love him, but she does uh, Yeah, it's like a confusing what she feels like. It kind of seems like a weird station now. Does she actually care about him though? Ah! Oh, oh, oh! It's like, I won't fall for you anyway! I never will! I never will! Oh! Oh, he's like, I would never love you anyway, so go, yeah, just mess. Wow. 
Whoa, I love it. It's like, I love it. Basically, pff, get off. Get off me, Tsundraya. But I wanted to confess. <laughs> it's like, I like it. She's a character. Like, I mean, she probably cares, but she pretends to. I don't care about you don't love me. It's like, I like, like she pretends it doesn't happen, but. Yeah, I'm gonna go home now. Bastard. But, uh, that's pretty mean there, yeah. Well, I mean, she's admitted that she didn't love him either, I guess, in a way. She's like, I never love you. Uh, yeah, you use my pity pet. And he's like, I would never love you anyway. It's like, yeah, this is like a dark episode now. It's not very dark. I had all the instead. Yeah, but now I fell in love instead. <laughs> Come on, clearly she's gonna be like, I rationalized that I have to love him because of guilt or something. But then I started to love him because I forced myself to love him. So now I am in love. It's a kind of weird Stockholm Syndrome thing. Which is like, I forced myself to be in love with you. So now I actually do love you. You know, my mind is set on loving you because I forced myself to love you, right? See, this is a weird Stockholm Syndrome thing. Nice Kagura, you fight for it. Nice, here we go, her true feelings. Kiyoshan, I do love you! <laughs> Man, poor Kagura, I don't know how to feel about this. I don't know how to feel about this, yeah. Because it was like a weird... And her explanation is weird too, she's like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And he's just like, yeah, whatever. And Kyo is like, nope. You got no chance, girl. I like other girl. <sighs> Uh, Arigato! Matt, he's like a bird! He's like, I love you! And he's like, yeah, thanks. Yeah, whatever. Thank, thanks, girl. Man, that was a weird episode. That was a weird episode. But it felt definitely she was gonna exactly say this, right? It definitely felt like she was gonna say that. I, I used to force my love to you, but now I actually do love you. Yeah, I expect her to be like, you know, I love you for reals now. And of course, mom is like, poor girl. Did he don't pity me, mom? Ooh, he's very mature. It's like I have to reflect upon my my sins. <laughs> yeah. She's very mature. I like I have to, I have to reflect. I will reflect on my mistakes. <laughs> but yes, okay. There's a lot of cats, of course, right? Yeah, of course, yes. Cat obsessed girl. It's not a cat there. Um, yeah, there's a lot of cats. It's like cat, cat, cat. Yeah, the room is just cat plus this, right? Cats everywhere. Does she have any pet cats? You have to wonder if she has, you know, pet cats, right? She's like, ah, Kyokun. <laughs> and they're all named Kyokun. They're like, Kyokun, Kyokun. That would be really sick. Yeah, but at the same time, he's like, thanks. Oh, okay. Let's look at all the cats there. Hmm. Hey, it's a weird episode. I feel sad for her, but at the same time, it's like, as she said herself, it's like, oh, I don't even love you. I mean, it's like, I'm just loving you because I forced myself to love you from the whole the guilt trip when I took your roster right to go back here in the episode. Um. Yeah, she's like, I took your rosary and that made you transform and then I ran away because I was scared, right? Which is understandable because Honda is like, you know, a freaking saint. But even if Honda wasn't a saint, or I mean, you have to question, right? Would Honda not run as just a kid too, right? Maybe, maybe she would. I don't know if she's a saint, so Honda probably would have stayed. Uh, but yeah, she was running away from seeing his ugly form. And then she like guilt tripped over that. And then she was like, I will love him. I will... Like, pay him back my guilt by being his lover, his girlfriend, his wife, right? But I don't love him. I, I rationalize my love through guilt. And then she's like, oh, but I actually love you now. I do have to say that that was, like, to be expected, right? It was like, predictable that she, of course, was gonna, uh, how say it, first confess her sins. And then immediately, and he's like, ah, screw you, I don't love you anyway. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, ah, well, I don't even love you back. And then, of course, he's like, screw you, I love you now. And she's like, Kyo -kun, Kyo -kun, Kyo -shan, I want you. So, Kagura wants you, yeah. So, yeah, like, I don't know what that's expect, right? I have to say that. It's, it's a little, uh, 
I mean, it, it is cliche. Let's be honest. It is cliche, right? That that she first is like, I never loved you. It was just an act of out of pity, right? Or whatever, right? Whatever, whatever her reasoning is, as she said herself, I'm rationalizing my love for you. Uh, as soon as I heard her say that, I'm like, that sounds really mean. But at the same time, I was like, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, this, is, this is obviously going to go into that she will say, I, you know, I had this agenda. That's why I liked you. But now I like you for real. I pretended to love you for 10 years and now I love you for real. Right? I mean, <laughs> what else would you expect? Honestly, it's a little, it is definitely in the cliche route right? where the character is like confessing that. Yeah, I pretended to be your wife or whatever, right, for all these years. So I, I got used to it, and so I want to be your wife. So, you know, don't don't kick me out, boy. I mean, I mean, this is like my thing, right? I am your girlfriend, so get this the movie. Uh, but yeah, that was a hard scene there. And when Kyo is like, I would never love you. That was, that was really mean. At the same time, he's like, oh, I mean, thanks for uh, being my friend or something. <laughs> yeah, that was like, man, that was, that was mean. And when she's like, I love you, and then of course she answers like, yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, and the answer is like, yeah, I mean. Yeah, his answer is like, ah, okay. <laughs> First, you know, he's like, I won't ever love you. Never, right? And then the very next scene, when she's like, I love you, no, for real now, I learned my mistake. He's like, no, thank you. <laughs> it's like that. that is really mean. When someone is like, I love you, and you're like, yeah, okay. That's fine by me, but <laughs> that is mean. I have to say though, um, I don't know if this is me, because I'm a pragmatic person, because I'm just like a pragmatic, you know, um, I'm a pragmatic, logical person in a sense. Uh, and, I am, and I'm always going for the horror ending. I'm like, well, you know, you can love more than one woman. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I just feel that, I mean, I really love Chris Barkas, but, but in a way I feel that Yes, he's like so obviously super in love with Toro Honda, right? But she's like a saint, right? So, you know, I mean, I love Honda. I mean, oh, you can eat best, but say Honda's good too, right? Um, that being said, I think from a realistic aspect, if a girl, when I was his age, so I'm just trying to be you know, reflective here, right, over my own life, right? When I was his age, uh, around there, in senior high school and so on, if a girl was like, I love you, I wouldn't be like, oh, okay. <laughs> I wouldn't be like, eh. I probably would be like, oh, uh, thank you. I, I like you too. Maybe, maybe I do. Unless, unless I actually did love her, right? But you know, I'd be like, oh, I, I like you too, right? Um, but then maybe I would be like, well, I'm dating this girl now, or whatever, right? Depending if I had uh, someone some else on the side, right? Yeah, someone some else girl. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's pragmatic. It's, it's kind of like applying to a. Maybe I'm too grown up for this thing. <laughs> I'm too grown up. For this teenage drama stuff. No, but I just feel like I'm looking a little bit like maybe applying for a job, right? So, for example, today I have this mail from a company. I really liked uh, that position uh, for this job. Like, I really wanted it. Uh, generally, usually, I mean, just usually, but sometimes you apply for a job, right? You're like, that company, that sounds like a good job. Uh, good, good, good position. So it's an interesting job. I want to apply for that. Uh, so, more of the times you're like, this sounds like a perfect thing for me. Everything in the description, this is exactly who I am. This is literally, this is, this is me. I want this job. If this is true, it says here, that's going to be a great job. But that, you know, sometimes it's a death price. Doesn't mean that you won't do the other job. I mean, I have very, I have very, very serious work ethics. So, of course, I would do the either one equally good. But uh, you still, it's like, yeah, I, I really mean that. Some people are like, you can only be good if you, you know, I'm, no, no. I would do each job equally good because I'm always trying to be the best whatever I do. Uh, that being said, you can have a job which you enjoy, right? And you and you get it. You can have a job where you don't and don't enjoy, but you're still great at it, right? Uh, your enjoyment shouldn't limit you from being good at the job. If you do that, you're just lazy. In opinion. But whatever. And that's another video. My point is that I had this uh, reaction from them then, and I'm, I don't know. I had like two, three. I had three interviews with them. There's a third interview last week. And then I, I felt the interviews went pretty bad. And I, I don't know the video, but I just mean like I had an interview, right? And one guy I talked to, he was kind of like, I said, you were two people, right? Because of Corona, everything's on, you know, online. And I just felt like one of them wasn't really paying attention to what I said. I was talking to him and he was like looking at some more and more. So he's like, you know, he was doing this stuff. And I was like writing. He was like, not even, I don't know if he was even listening to what I said, honestly, but whatever. Um, and, I, and, I, and I tried, and yeah, I mean, he did he, he questions those. But, but I felt that he was going on and off. 
he was probably doing something else on the side, right? Some, some other job because he's like the, one of the managers of this like very big company. So I don't, I don't, I get it. I get it. He's probably very busy, right? Uh, and in a, in a way, having to talk ta- ta- talk to that person, which is like very famous in the industry, is of course still uh, an opportunity. So I won't say that. But still, uh, my point is more that I'm not even that upset that he probably did something else at the same time. I'm more saying that I couldn't capture his interest, right? That's what I mean. I felt the interview wasn't that strong because I couldn't capture his interest. I couldn't really capture his heart, right? You know, I couldn't love him. I couldn't make him love, love me, right? I guess. Um, but that being said, right, had this made for him than or uh, was it today. Uh, I'm not going to be like, when well, they are like, eh, you know, um, uh, maybe we probably won't move on. Uh, you know, uh, I won't be like, you know, SU or this thing. I'm just going to be like, well, you know, that, that's, that went bad, probably. But I'm still going to just say that. This thing could have been done at this, you know. My point basically is that even if it happens, I'm not gonna be like, let's burn this bridge down, right, or something. I'm still gonna be like, okay, uh, you know, what could I do wrong? Is it something you, um, wh- why are you unsure? Is it something I could like, you know, fill in? Could I maybe explain it to you here on mail, you know, or do you want me again, right? I'm also gonna try to like, still, you know, communicate or still trying to improve that position, right, or my position in this current situation, right? And what I mean with that is that, uh, so maybe I'm looking very logically, very pragmatically, but I guess what, what I mean is that when I experience this thing with a Kagura, as Q is doing here in real life, you know, if I, if I, when I experience sims like that in real life, in my age, right, and during, during my life in that age so on, uh, I would never just turn down a girl, honestly. I mean, I would turn down a girl, absolutely. I would be like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm dating this girl, and she's great, and I love her, whatever. So but I wouldn't but I wouldn't do it, you know what I mean, right? That, I feel, I mean, again, I like Fruit Basket, but it definitely feels, you know, very drama. Of course, it doesn't anime. I mean, it's, it's very shoddy, right? The same thing with any, you know, freaking... It's even worse, you know, in American, you know, teenage, like, CV show, basically, right? The same thing here, right? Um, it has to always be so dramatic. I mean, again, I like the scene. It's very powerful. But if it's a little dark, right? Because I just mean that if, like, a 17... At least, like, 17, right? Whatever. I might have wrong age, but a 17, you know, If this girl is, like, your best... She's literally his best friend to write. His only friend, basically. Like, literally his best friend that he grew up with. Uh, when she is like, I love you for real, actually. Don't, you know, I actually do love you, goddammit, right? I want to be your girlfriend. I want to marry you. I want to have kids with you. Which is just the whole thing, right? I wouldn't be like, ah, okay, but, I mean, pff, I'll never love you anyway. So, yeah, get out of my way, yeah. Get out, woman. I'll never love you anyway. I, I would be more like, you know, wow, that's cool uh well i'm i'm, I'm in love with this girl right now uh, otherwise i would obviously give you a chance i would come up from that angle right i would come from the angle that well okay i am gonna stay say now now but maybe we could be if this other girl doesn't work out or this girl doesn't work out i'm gonna date you like which you know sounds pretty measly in a way right uh, and, and that's true i mean obviously it's contextual based right if, if a girl or a boy or whatever uh, you know, a cute little girl talks to me, and I'm like, man, I hate this person. Like, why does she like me for? I'm like, f off, yeah, <laughs> of course, right, of course. Uh, but it's his best friend. Kagura is like his only his only friend, right? And he kiss, he basically dated her, right, for a while, right, before Honda was there, more or less. He kind of forced to be his girlfriend, but still, he didn't have Honda back then, so he can't hang out with her, right? And now she's like, I love you for real, 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 you know, honey. And he's like, f you, <laughs> kinda, yeah. And I, I mean, it's a good episode, it's dramatic, but that's what I mean, right? It feels a little over-dramatic to me, honestly. I, I mean, I mean, I, 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 and I don't mean to be nitpicky, because obviously every anime is like this. <laughs> every anime is like, have you read, like, Naruto? When now it's like, I love Sakura. She's like, oh, I'm trying to backstab this guy over here, so can you talk? Yeah, you know, basically, you're like, when, oh, it's a scene. I don't want to spoil Naruto, but whatever. It's a scene where Sasuke messes to kill her, right? Yeah, it's like a really stupid scene where she's trying to, like, get Sasuke back and he tries to murder her or something and then later on they think he gets married and kids it's, it's so stupid <laughs> oh god I hate it it's so stupid but, but uh, well, yeah you know what I mean so in anime of course it's always gonna be the most dramatic way right? here's this girl his best friend is like I love you I actually do love you I wanna be your wife and he's like eh, whatever <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, you see what I mean right I think most people in real life will actually be like wow that's really cool but I'm actually in love with this other woman uh, but you know, I always love you. You're my best friend. You know, I'm very appreciative of your feelings. I think most people would probably would, you know, play it like that, right? At least in this kind of context, not because she's like a random stranger. 
She's actually his like best friend, right? He's like literally his best friend. So, at least for, as a kid, he was, this was her best his best friend. Right? They were best friends growing up. So, this isn't some random woman he just met last week, right? Um, and I just mean that. So I'm giving you like points here, people, right? Kids out there, no, but you know what I mean. Um, you might be madly in love with girl X, right? To dating right now. But maybe girl X is a horrible monster, right? In this case, it's more opposite. But you know what I mean. In normal, right? <laughs> and uh, and then you, you when girl Y is like, I love you. You probably shouldn't be like, F you. I love girl X and only X forever. And then next year, you're like, X is horrible. X is such a bad person, right? And then you meet Y. She's seeing you. You might be like, hey, Y, uh, do you want to... You know, maybe, you know, I, I'm sorry that I, but I understand now that you're my true, you know, whatever, right? And she's gonna be like,